drop a like and sub in the next five seconds and this will be your Fortnite account. If you don't, this will be your account. The new Fortnite update is just around the corner. With it, we have all new information about an all new Zero V Book bundle, new free rewards, and much, much more. Well, trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video, as we even have some information about an upcoming live event. But just quickly, my dog Nelly is still super upset that 75% of you guys have not yet subscribed, which means you are missing out on a chance for a free gift inside of the Fortnite item shop. As we do get five new and all subscribers every single day inside of it, so if any of you guys are going to be in need of a gift, all you have to do is drop like on this video make sure you are subscribed to the channel with the post notification bell turned on and most importantly be sure to drop a comment down below with your epic games id and if you happen to be picking up anything inside of the item shop for yourself do consider using my support credit code ytora as it greatly supports the channel that extra mile hashtag ad and with all of that being said let's get straight into today's brand new video we will be receiving the brand new forney update 23.20 that will be coming on january 17th and we've got all new information about an upcoming kid Leroy concert was recently leaked to actually be arriving in the game on either the 24th or the 25th of January which is only in about a week's time it is looking like this upcoming concert will actually be taking place inside of creative 2.0 that will be releasing by the end of this month We've already seen what a live event inside of creative 2.0 would actually look like considering in the fracture live event this entire event was actually made using creative not only will we be getting a brand new concert for the kid Leroy it looks like we also will be getting all brand new cosmetics for him such as two brand new skins one back bling, one pickaxe, one weapon wrap, and three brand new emotes. But these emotes may be from some of Kid Leroy's most popular songs, which I definitely think would be pretty cool, and also expect to see some potential brand new free rewards for this. We have seen free rewards for every single concert that we've already had in the game so far, such as the Astro World Glider and also the umbrellas that you could have gotten from the Rift Tour concert. Well, obviously, we will find out exactly what these cosmetics will be once the brand new update arrives on 17th of January. It's not the only thing that will be arriving with Creative 2.0 as it looks like we're actually going to be seeing a LEGO X Fortnite actual crossover in game. G Matrix Games actually posted this saying Epic is working on something in UEFN that has to do with the LEGO bricks including having a full brick database with Unreal Engine. Overall I think this is going to be a super cool collab with us potentially even seeing some sort of LEGO cosmetics available to pick up inside of the item shop. Obviously this is still on the staging servers and it will be arriving in the game really soon potentially by the release of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season too. Well, it does look like the Bony X Family Guy collab is finally happening. After two years of waiting for this collab, it's finally being worked on again. It's looking to include an all brand new Peter Griffin skin, which we originally set to be getting in the game back inside of Chapter 2 Season 5, which was almost two years ago. It's kind of crazy that it's taken this long to obviously get this collab in game, and obviously the last time we did have any leaks about this was back during the State of Unreal livestream. During that livestream, we did actually have a lot of game files that were actually leaked by accident, with this show some upcoming battle pass skins that had not yet released in the game yet. They did have fallen names such as Chapter 3 Season 2 Darth Vader and also Jones. It obviously was for Darth Vader and Indiana Jones which did arrive inside of that season. Believe it or not we also did actually have a leak on this list that did say Doom which obviously only arrived inside of this season. Final file name actually being for Family Guys. So it is looking like this will be arriving really soon potentially inside of next season's battle pass considering all of these skins have been in battle passes so far. Brand new Family Guy collab will be using the code name French Fry, which you guys probably would have remembered from Chapter 2 Season 5. There actually was a leak for an upcoming backlink that was set to include a few different frames from the actual Family Guy show, as you can see up on screen right now. Overall, I think this is going to be pretty cool that we will be seeing Peter Griffin arrive in the game with most likely some other cosmetics, such as maybe even a Stewie backlink, obviously including some other cosmetics, which you most likely can't expect to see inside of next season's Battle Pass. And as well as that, we've actually just gotten the availability of the brand new Curling Iron Emo, which you guys should have been granted on your account by now if you've obviously done the challenge over Winterfest. You can see up on screen right here, which is obviously a little bonus reward from Epic Games if you did obviously play with five different people over Winterfest 2022. I have heard a lot of people who have actually done this challenge have not been granted the emo yet, and if that is the case, I would actually contact the Epic Games support. They may be able to actually help you out with this and obviously give you the brand new emo. One of the biggest additions that will be arriving with the brand new update is actually going to be the brand new Guardian of the Rift skin 
Fortnite, which will be arriving on January 18th inside of the item shop, is leaked to be a super big part of the Fortnite Chapter 4 storyline. Considering we do actually have some map changes related to this skin already, you do actually head over to the Citadel and move right next to it to one of the other little buildings. And see, on the rooftop, there is actually construction on what looks to be a brand new rift portal. Most likely, we'll be seeing this get changed as the season obviously does progress, considering we still have two months left of it. it. May even lead to some sort of upcoming live event at the very end of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 1. I honestly think it would be super cool, considering we obviously do have the arrival of Geno inside of this season's battle pass. Most likely, we'll be involved in whatever is going on with this brand new rift portal. But for the brand new skin, is obviously going to be someone who is most likely going to be a boss or an NPC that can be found here. For the skin itself, we do actually have three different possible skins that it actually will be. Thanks to Epic Games surveys where we actually got an early look at them. The very first one actually being this gold skin right here, which definitely does fit the idea of being an actual guardian of the rift. I definitely think it is a pretty sick skin. I would not be complaining if this was it. That's how this entire season is obviously themed around medieval and obviously knights again. A chance that it actually could be this skin as you can see up on screen, which I've actually been waiting for to arrive in the game for quite some time now. My opinion definitely looks a lot better than the original Black Knight skin. Well, for the final skin, which it's most likely going to be, is actually the Zero Point looking character, as you can see right here, which looks like a more improved version of the Zero skin that we had back inside of Chapter 2. It does actually seem to have a lot more going on with it than the original skin. This is actually a pretty sick one, in my personal opinion. This entire set is actually said to be a brand new bundle, which will include other cosmetics such as backlings and pickaxes, etc. It does turn out that this brand new bundle will actually be granted to players early for free, so make sure you keep an eye out on your account, as you never know, you could be getting an early gift by Epic Games. Well, we also do actually know about a confirmed free bundle that should be arriving as well by the end of this month, which is actually going to be for the release of the brand new Dead Space Remastered game. It has been leaked that we actually will be seeing a collaboration for this with us getting a brand new Isaac Clarke skin, which is obviously the main character of the Dead Space games. It is looking like this collaboration is going to work very similar to the way all of the previous Epic Games collabs have actually worked. Most likely will result in you obviously having to actually buy the Dead Space game from the Epic Games store and you should be granted the skin on your account for free as a bonus. It's like what we did see with the Among Us collab where obviously you could have gotten all of those cosmetics early by buying that game. Same did apply for the Assassin's Creed game, you could obviously buy that and get the Ezio skin and then we also did actually have it most recently with Ghost Simulator 3. If you did either pre-order or buy that, you would have actually gotten the A-Gold skin early on your account which was definitely a pretty cool bonus as it doesn't cost anything extra. But we most likely will be seeing the exact same thing for this brand new Dead Space game, but I would wait until Epic actually do announce this themselves considering you don't want to waste any money on this game if there is actually going to be a free reward for it. Obviously over the past few weeks Fortnite has been in a completely unstable mess with so many glitches and bugs crossing the entire game. Well it does look like we're actually going to be seeing the 15 Winterfest present also granted to us as soon as the brand new update drops. Which is rumored to be some sort of reward that will be related to the upcoming Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse collab. Obviously it's for the new upcoming movie where we most likely will be seeing the arrival of Spider-Man Miles Morales when that movie actually releases. For the brand new reward, most likely will be something related to either a backlink, harvesting tool, or possibly even an emo. So be sure to keep you guys updated on any more information we do obviously get about that 15 present and everything else arriving with the brand new update. For she, that is all we pretty much have time for here in today's video. And if you did watch all the way to the very end of it, be sure to drop this word down in the comments alongside with your Epic Games ID. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and thanks for watching.